everybody. Hello. How's it going? Um, can I ask one question? Who was the guy that yelled out reincarnation? The fucking Indian looking guy? Come on, man. What the fuck are you doing? We're at a sciencey thing. Although this is clearly science, this is clearly a sign that God hates science. There's a religious channel thing happening indoors somewhere. Because they don't trust shit. Thank you so much, this is great. Yeah, science! Wait, are you guys all like, I've never yelled science at a show and had people all like go, woo! While literally science is trying to kill them. Science is trying to kill you right now. And you guys are like, I'm on your side. It's just condensation giving me pneumonia forever. <laughs> Did you woo pneumonia? <laughs> Best crowd ever. <laughs> pneumonia is explained by science. I like this. <laughs> What'd you say? Influenza. Good. That's another thing that's bad. And sciency. I will, um, I'm gonna, okay, so, I, well, I hate, I'm gonna do a couple things. I, um, I hate, I'll tell you about myself, I hate using public restrooms. Like, that's one of my things. You too? But you're a lady. You don't know how filthy guys' restrooms are. No, I don't mean sitting, for guys, our victory is just getting to the bathroom. Once you're there, you can do whatever you want. Every guy's urinal is surrounded by so much urine. And we don't think about it. We're like, it's just a miscellaneous liquid. It's yellow. You fucking know what it is. Every guy's shoe is coated in the piss of a thousand strangers. And we just walk around your houses. It's horrible. But I was at a Barnes and Noble and I really had to go. So I go in and luckily it's empty. It's empty and there's four urinals. So I have to do the quick math of which one has the least urine under it. But they're all this one. They all have like a lake of urine and there's like tributaries flowing, irrigating each other. It's a nightmare. So I pick the one closest to the wall, furthest away from all the badness, right? And I'm about to start peeing and this guy comes in. Weird, right? And there's four urinals and he comes and he stands right next to me. Yeah, slightly weird, slightly weird. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna let this guy finish. And I hear him say, just before he starts, I hear him say to himself, but just loud enough that I could hear, I hear him say, eyes forward, Gary. <laughs> there is no one else there. So he gets the urge to stare so bad that he's gonna talk himself into the game of not staring. So I'm like, I'm gonna let this guy finish, then I'll start. 30 seconds later, I hear him go, eyes forward, Gary. So he's losing the battle. So I work up my courage, I look out of the corner of my eye to see what's going on, and it's a guy, and on his shoulders is a little two-year-old boy staring at my dick. He looks up, we make direct eye contact, and then he's back down to the show. Pretty sure I made a serial killer that day. Also, who names their kid Gary? He didn't have a mustache or anything. I'll tell you guys, okay, so I was uh, raised Muslim. Hold for applause. Did you, were you raised Muslim? No. Yes? Really? Really? No. There were a lot of words said and no information was exchanged. I was raised Muslim, I was talking to this guy and he was never Muslim, you know? Like not even during college. He's like, I, I was drunk, I just touched the Quran, you know, like none of that. And we were talking about the gender inequality in Saudi Arabia, the gender inequality in Saudi Arabia, and he looked at me, I swear, he looked at me and he was like, it's not really their fault, Kamal. The Quran says women can't drive. <laughs> Pretty fucking sure the Quran never said that. Because if the Quran had said women can't drive cars, 
1400 years ago, I would be at the mosque right now. And so would all of you. There would be no fucking science channel. If 1400 years ago, if 1400 years ago the Quran was like, someday there will be a metallic box that will carry you wherever you want. This we predict. And it will have four wheels and you'll end up with gas in it and tells you how fast you're going and you have a thing to control it and women shouldn't drive it. <laughs> be like I know two things for sure. Islam is the one true religion and women shouldn't drive. <laughs> I'm glad you guys laughed at that. Otherwise it sounds like I'm just giving a horrible speech. Islam is the one true religion. Women can't drive. So do you guys know what the Library of Congress is? Okay, so yeah, of course you guys do. You're a libra librarian? Woo! You work at the Library of Congress? You did, you got fired. <laughs> Why did you leave? Uh, National Library. No, you're the National li Library of Medicine. People who don't know, Library of Congress has been archiving every piece of literature ever written, putting it on hard drives. It's pretty amazing. They revealed a few months ago that they've also been archiving every tweet that's been tweeted. Yeah, that should be terrifying to all of you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a quick game. Are you up for it? You can stay there. I'll ask you a question. I'm going to read you a quote and you have to tell me if it's something from a great piece of literature or if it's something I found on Twitter. Okay? It's very simple. There's nothing at stake. You could win and nothing will happen. Just guess to the best of your abilities, okay? Question one. I, I'm going to read you this first quote. Piece of literature or something I found on Twitter. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. What do you think? It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. That was, that was William Shakespeare. That's right. Great piece of literature. Next one. Surrounded by MILFs at Taco Bell. <laughs> at Taco Bell, surrounded by MILFs, which is a great day by anyone's definition. You're at Taco Bell, there's mothers you want to fuck everywhere, mothers you would like to fuck. Shakespeare. That's right, Clayton Bigfish tweeted that. <laughs> to live without hope is to cease to live. That's right, Fyodor Dostoevsky. Beautiful, live without hope is to cease to live. Yes, I dress my dog. He gets cold and he's my boy. No judgy. Hashtag LOL. <laughs> That's right. A.G. Trimble tweeted that. Now it gets a little complicated. This is a weird one. Korean fans are crazy. Korean fans are crazy. That's right. That was Will Smith's son, Jaden Smith. 